Hey guys and welcome back to Gold Rush. I have just put in the uh, the last bucket full, or at least the last bucket full that the game wants from me. So I am now going to turn off the engine. The handbrake is on, let's get the jump out. So I filled this bucket up to 93%. Um, so now you can see this this thing's been working and it spits out the some of the crap out the back. Most of the uh, the bigger stuff comes out the back or falls down the sides. This is probably where I've missed with uh, with my bucket. Uh, I did get a bit better, I promise. All right, let's switch that off. Cause it makes an awful lot of noise. Uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, separate the magnetite from the dig soil using a magnetic separator. So let's go and do that now. So we need to go and pick up the magnetite or the magnetic separator. So we need to go back to the, the tent now. It's got all the junk. Alright, let's drift it. Nope, ain't happening. Alright. So we'll reverse this in here because I think we've got, we're going to have to pick up the magnetic separator. And forget to put the handbrake on. Okay. All right, let's grab the magnetic separator. All right, we'll put it into the truck. Next thing we're going to need is the yellow electricity cable. All right, we then need. Let's just pick up the first bucket. So I'm guessing we're going to need two buckets. So that is. Bucket numero uno. Oh, you can crouch as well. Alright, and then that is bucket numero... Okay. Numero dos. Oh. Numero dos. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come here, bucket! Numero dos. Come on. There we go. Uh, the green hose I now need. Which means we're going to need to get some more water on the situation. Okay. And, go on, you can do it. There we go. Just don't want my things falling out. Right, now I need to go all the way to the wash plant now. Oh! It's fine. But apparently they're heavier than the clasp that I've got for that thing, so... Oh my god. Do I lose any of my junk? Alright. Let's jump out. And we need to put the... The magnetic separator, the golden black magnetic separator. Down here next to the wash plant, okay, it wants to be here, which is an annoying place, but whatever. Connect the generator to the separator using the yellow cable. Ah, oh, that's not the generator, <laughs> yeah, more on. Uh, Alright. Let's bring this around the back. Connect it up. Oh. Hello? Hello? There we go. That was weird. Yeah, I went in anyway. Uh, then I need to add water to it with the water pump. So let's connect that up here. And I don't know why I would crawl on the ground. Let's just follow our previous water pipe so that the hoses are nice and uh, 
nice and in line. Around the tree. Okay, and that goes over this end. There we go. Water connected. The magnetite separator. It's funny because I remember watching the uh, watching the show and how like they started off and they got some bits, the bits that they thought they would need, and then they had to uh, they had to fork out the cash to get some of the other stuff and and it was like oh my god if we get this then we could get like more money from our pay dirt because we'll be able to get some of the smaller bits of gold and I don't know man it was cool it's just like that's the feeling that I get from this it's I don't know it's kind of cool the uh, the one sad thing though that's missing from this is the is multiplayer it needs multiplayer and it doesn't have it yet but I mean <laughs> pre-alpha so uh, yeah Alright, so we need to take the bucket from the wash plant and then we tip that bucket into the magnetite separator which will separate any magnetite from the gold that we've got Okay, so that's now finished processing Okay, so it's asking me to do that, but what we can do is we've got some dirt here so what we can do is we can give it a second a second go through to see if there's anything extra in there. So right now we've got 46 and you can see that the gold one's now at, 50, at 70. So if we do that again and we keep doing that with the dirt we should be able to get as much as possible out of it. It's now at 81. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if it's bugged or what, but there, there should be. Um, you should be able to. Uh, you shouldn't shouldn't be able, shouldn't be getting quite as much from this. You should only do it like a couple of times and then get like a tiny return on it. But I'm getting like 2-3% every time. Yeah, every time I'm doing this is basically using up any of the dirt and halving it to give me gold back. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, we're at 91%. Okay, I'm happy enough just leaving that. Alright, let's take the bucket of gold. Pour the gold into the pan, which is oh my god, it's miles away. So I really should just drag any of the gold back. Uh, drag in not the gold, any of the like the pan and stuff like that. I should really just drag that out there so that everything's getting done at the same place. All right, pour all of that into there. And we'll pop that there. Let's grab our pan that's got our pay dirt in it. Okay, now let's use this. Okay, let's clear out what we can. Give it a wee bit of a shimmy. Pour out the water. No, I don't want to go into gold picking mode just yet. It's nowhere near enough gold. There's no way we only got three little nugs out of that. All of that just gave us three little nugs. Are you high? Ugh. That was terrible. Alright, so let's... Got 0.14 ounces right now. 0.15. Wow, that was a terrible tiny little nugget. 0.27. 0.3 ounces. Okay. Let's 
just pour out all of that crap. Exit panning mode. Wait, what? Oh, I need to grab this bucket and put it back under the uh, the magnetite separator. Man, that was that was a poor show. That was a poor, poor show. I do apologise for any frame rate drops. I've just noticed on uh, OBS that we're losing some frames. My game is perfectly fine. Wait, what? I thought we had more gold than that. Yeah, my game is perfectly fine, but OBS seems to be dropping a lot of frames. I don't understand why. Great inside baseball of me, but I mean, let's uh. Let's drop the graphics down a little bit. The game has a, a little issue with applying graphics settings, I noticed. It seems to take ages. But I'm guessing it's not very well optimised. Because I really shouldn't be having an issue, especially with OBS capturing this. I've got the hiccups now, Jesus. Right, come on, this is taking the biscuit. Oh, there we go. I mean, I don't really need the world's greatest graphics. Are we still sitting at like 40, 42 FPS on OBS? Jesus, we just need to record this in 30 so you don't notice the, the frame drop as much. Right, go back into the excavator. Alright. Attach fuel tank to the excavator's bucket. Head towards the fuel tank. Alright, so... We need to start up the excavator. Let's turn the excavator to here. Let's close... Let's close this up. Okay, let's go into driver mode. And the handbrake off. There we go, that's the camera that I want. The one that I can operate myself. Okay, let's head towards the fuel tank. Right. I don't think I really need the uh, the handbrake for the excavator, but grabbing steel rope. This stuff is so dangerous, by the way. Really dangerous. Feel like studio is just some steel rope. How's it dangerous? Because you put a lot of you put a lot of tension on a steel rope. If I... Oh, I dropped it. Why'd you drop it? Oh. Why'd you drop it? Because it's only that long. That's why. Put a lot of tension on a steel rope and it snaps. And you're in for a world of hurt. that bucket up so it be open. Okay, let's jump out. Okay. Right, that's that one hooked up. This is a nightmare. Oh, don't don't start punching it. I have to bring my truck over to stand on the frickin' truck. Right, I need another one. Right, 
need to hook that to there. Oh my god, the rope's too short. Okay, let's get in here. What a bloody nightmare this is. Ah, uh, right. There's the rest of the steel, there's the other side of the steel rope, rather. Okay. Oh my god, I need to get the rest of the freaking steel rope now. Oh, oh. It, uh, it doesn't half toss this thing around, does it? Jesus. Okay. Let's get the other pieces of steel rope. Oh, did you see that? That's some fucking Ezio shit. Alright, let's hook that up to there, and then that one to there. Oh my god, this would be so much easier with, like, someone else helping me. Okay. No, you can do it. I've seen you do it before. There you go. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Alright, there we go. Actually hooked up now. Right, put the fuel tank next to the loader. Okay. My god. Why would I take a fuel tank to a loader instead of taking a loader to the fuel tank? The actual hell is this? It's like carrying this massive fuel tank around when I could have just drove the loader to it. What the actual fuck game? Fuel tank next to the loader. I Means that next to it enough? Or go a bit further forward? Right. Now detach the ropes. Okay. I mean, I should probably go the opposite way, shouldn't I? Probably grab that one instead.
I'll just leave these attached. All right. I need to fuel up the loader. All right. Jesus Christ. Uh, but with that, ladies and gents, that is all I've got time for in this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.